right, guys, so this morning I got up and I didn't have any place to plug in my cell phone, which I didn't plug in last night. These nightmares are under my desk. So I decided to change out a couple plugs into these uh, USB uh, plug adapters. I briefly looked at the instructions. It seemed pretty straightforward. So let me show you what I did. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. I also had this funny little screwdriver I used to relieve the wires from the back of the old plug. Uh, if you don't have one, you're going to just have to cut them off. You'll need a voltage tester. The first thing you're going to have to do before you even start is pull these two face plates apart and you'll find out why later. They didn't come apart that easy. Make note of the back of the plug, it says white and hot. So you'll have wires coming out, they'll be white wires and black wires most likely. And a green ground on the bottom of the plug. Turn off your main. Check your power. If there's no power, go ahead and unscrew your face plate. Now I went to double time to make this a lot easier. There's the package that they came in that was from Home Depot, I think, like $15. Um, go ahead and unscrew the old plug and pull it out. And you can see I went to double time to make this a little easier to watch, otherwise this would be about a 15-minute long video. Pull out the, the uh, plug, and then I had to use that little adapter, or that little screwdriver, pushed in behind the plugs and, or the wires, and they popped right out. If you don't have that, just cut them off uh, with your wire snips, if you have wire snips. And I simply just put the new plug in, attached where it said white. Screwed them in. And then I did the exact same thing where it said black. Slid them in behind the plate. Get them in there nice and snug. And screwed them in tight. Make sure you get them good and tight so they don't come apart. Flip it over on the bottom, you'll see the where it says ground. Hooked up the ground, same process. Screw them in good and tight, snug. So nothing comes apart because in a minute you're going to turn and twist and push everything back into that hole. All of those wires. So everything needs to be good and snug. Ram them in there. Make sure everything's in, nothing comes apart. Screw it down nice and snug. And then when you're done with that, you're going to have to switch back up to a flathead screwdriver. For some reason, they decided to use flathead and Phillips head screws. So then you'll throw the new inner uh, faceplate on. Screw it up there, good and snug, get it as tight to the wall as you can. And throw the new faceplate on over that and it will clip right into place. Easy peasy. Turn on your circuit breaker. Check your voltage to make sure everything's working. And then you're all done. You're all set to plug in all your goodies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually kind of enjoyed making it. I rushed to do it all before everyone got out of bed this morning. I'm still in my jammies. So like and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.